Hello and welcome to Megawatt, where each week we give you the lowdown of the latest piece of kit from the world of technology and gadgets. This week it's all about going green. No, not as in the colour, but as in eco-friendly. We've come down to EcoBuild in London's Earls Court to find out how we're going to live in the greenhouse of the future. Stay tuned. It's all very well saying that you're going to be eco-friendly and eco-build, etc. But what does that actually mean? Well, one company, EcoBuild in Earls Court, London, has built an entire house in three days, no less. And we're going to go and check out what it's got and what it hasn't got. So the idea, basically, is you've got a massive glass wall to start with. OK, now this wall, once you come through, leads into a small sort of... Uh, entry area, a lobby area, which also has, this would have another glass wall here, so you've got like quadruple double glazing, and it basically allows it to be maximum heat during the day. Sun face, south facing, so the sun comes in, heats up everything, and then when the sun gets too high, the ceiling kicks in and you get nice shade. Now, the floor is all thermal uh, tiles, and then the ceiling is terracotta thermal tiles as well. So it basically, once it gets the heat, it traps the heat and keeps you hot for about five days. Now, if you carry on through, the tech carries on. Big, thick Tudor beams. Now, according to the company that makes this uh, house, basically, they've gone back to the old Tudor style, you know, 400 years ago. What do they give for us? Well, they actually gave us green houses, it seems, because the idea is that you can buy this as a kit, ready to build, or expand it all based on this. So if you want an extra section, no metal. In fact, there is no concrete or cement in this house at all. It's all dry built by just wood snapping together against wood and bolting it up. Coming through, and we go upstairs. Now, upstairs, it's the same principles. Basically, all the walls are super thick, super insulated, rather than concrete or brick, and that allows the air to be trapped, to trap the heat, and makes it a lot hotter. But what they also do, if we show you with these networks here, is they have a system. Now, when you get hot in your house, what normally happens is you take, you open the window, basically, and that then lets the heat out. Well, this system takes the heat, traps it up, throws it up to the top, grabs it, and then pulls it back down into the house so you don't lose the heat. Pretty cool. Upstairs, this house, it's about £100,000 uh, to build. You basically get uh, a good-sized family house. And there's, you know, full-on bathroom and all the other eco mod cons you'd expect. But then there's nice things like a balcony to sip and enjoy the sunset. Although this is not south-facing, so we'd have to go this way. But you also get a, another balcony area here, which is, you know, quite nice. I don't have a balcony in my house. And these are the terracotta tiles, as you can see. Now, you don't get regular floorboards, which probably got most of us in our house, in your house. And the idea is, again, that these trap the heat, basically trying to get it working for you as best as possible. Now, interesting tech about this house as well is that it's zero carbon. So it only generates, only uses the electricity that it generates, which, again, is pretty cool. So you've already got a PSP, you've probably already had a go with Skype, but you want to do video. What's the solution? Well, BT and Sony think it's the Go Messenger, which works on not only the new slim and light PSP, but the original one as well. You don't need the camera, although that obviously will help for video messaging. Now, the idea is basically you get a series of screens where you can control your contacts, uh, messages, you can do uh, instant message chat, you can do um, search via the internet and things like that. And the idea basically, as you can see with these screens, is you can scroll through. Now you can talk to anybody on the Go Messenger service, which is basically anybody else who's got a PSP, or there's also a PC download as well, so you can talk PSP to PC. So to make a call, all we have to do is choose the contact. We're going to phone a lady called Tracy. Now it gives you a number of options, video chat, voice chat, text chat, video message. Now you can record video messages using the camera and then send them to multiple friends so they pick up. It's basically a, an improved sort of uh, mobile phone, happy slapping sort of approach. We're going to make a video call, so I'm phoning. Now this is all done over a Wi-Fi network, so there's no cost involved. Hello Tracy, it's Stuart again. How are you? Excellent. Now you can also turn it to full screen as well, so you can see that, and Tracy's as 
we've already made a phone call to Tracy. She's told us that you're using it on a PSP, right? I am, yes. Excellent. Brilliant. Thanks very much. Nice to meet you. Bye bye. Thanks. Bye. Okay, so she's hung up, and that's pretty much it. I mean, there's uh, say other functionalities, but that's really what you want to want to know. And that's the Go Messenger from uh, BT and Sony. Remember the Watsol and the effigy last year that allowed you to monitor your electricity use in the home? Well, here at EcoBuild, we're seeing an advancement of that in, from green energy options. Basically, it's a prototype at the moment. They're running it on a Samsung UMPC. But the idea is that it gives you as much data and data options that you could possibly want with your device. Now, there are three options, one called the Solo, which looks like this in prototype stage. There's a medium-sized one, and then there's a trio, which is this one here. So you plug the device into here, and then this goes straight into the wall. Now, you can either do it where you have just your television in there, or you can plug a whole entertainment system in there. Basically, all that information is then relayed back to the screen. Now, the idea here is they've, in an attempt to try and excite children, they've created this little character that, depending on how your electricity use is, will depend on his color green for good, red for bad, and at the moment he's pretty orange so he's not enjoying himself. But tapping on the screen gives you a number of different functions. So you can, uh, you can see here you can look at the supply, for example, or computers in your house or entertainment. Let's go to entertainment. Now this shows us the load of say the hi-fi or the bedroom and TV, uh, bedroom TV or the home TV, and you can then also look at the C uh, CO2 levels that that would increase, or the cost as well if that data is available. You can then also go as far back as suggesting whether it's just today, last week, last month, and the company say that they're going to also monitor the information all via broadband connection so they can give you contextual hints so that they can realise that you're using too much on a television, perhaps if you turned it off more often rather than leaving it on standby they can suggest that that you will save you money. It all sounds really good. It sounds like a statistician's dream, and that is the trio or the solo from the green energy options. Normally, your HSDPA data card will look like this. It's a boring stick with USB dongle on the back. What Toshiba have done is they've created one of these, and this is the G450. And basically, it's a 3G data card, 3.6 uh, HSDPA, but it comes with the added bonus of a mobile phone on the front. So if we turn it on, you can dial away. Now, the idea is you connect via a USB socket at the bottom uh, to, your f to your computer. Unfortunately, it's only uh, Windows at the moment. Dial surf the internet, etc., etc., And then when you've finished, you can still use it as an emergency handset by dialing away. Now, that's pretty basic in its offering, but it certainly does beat the uh, HSDPA card that you normally see. And it's just it's quite an interesting concept, really, and you can make phone calls and texts, although I think it would probably take quite a long time with that handset. And that's the G450 from Toshiba. Concrete's boring, isn't it? Well, not according to a company called Concrete Blonde, who are showing at the Eco Build here in Earls Court, London. This is concrete. Look at this, it's cool. It looks like wallpaper. And the idea behind it is that it is just that. It's called their wallpaper range. And the premise is that they take a textured wallpaper, they lay it on concrete, let it set, then blast the paper off, and you get these beautiful patterns. So they come in, uh, it just looks like crazy wallpaper you find in your auntie's house. And that's Concrete Blonde Concrete. So there we have it. It seems to go into the future, we have to travel back into the past. Well, that's it for this week. Hope you've enjoyed the show. Why don't you tune in next time for more news, reviews, tips, tricks, opinions, and much more. And if you're watching this on a podcast around the web, why don't you come back to megawatt.tv, where you can get all of the above and a beautiful environment to watch it in. Hope you've enjoyed it. I'll see you next week. Stay tuned.